Welcome back with Tom. Today I'm going to show you how to make carousel diaper cake. Okay everyone, yeah, we're back here with Tom. And we had kind of a cool idea to make a carousel diaper cake. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we got a ton of supplies here. <laughs> we'll uh, start going over them and show you what we got. Okay Tom, so you want to go over roughly what we're going to be using to build this? Yeah, I got a lot of diaper. I okay. already rolled it. Looks like we got, there was about 50 in there, right? You yeah, said 50 those are just pre rolled diapers. Again, mm -hmm. we're using size two diapers. Right, size two. You probably can use other sizes if you mm -hmm. want, but um, we're using size two for the one we're going to make. Yeah. It looks like you got a big assortment of stuffed animals and stuff. Stuffed animals. Use okay. what you want to. Okay, yeah, these are going to be going on the carousel mm -hmm. for the animals of the carousel. Yeah, looks they like got the baby bottles. Baby bottle and ribbons. Yeah, big assortment of ribbon. Okay, mm -hmm. looks like we got and a some collection flowers. of flowers. And some the um, lollipop stick. Okay, we got some lollipop sticks. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like what's that? A teething ring kind teething of there. Teething ring and a sock and a bunch of socks, baby mm -hmm. socks. Looks like you got a bunch of rubber bands. Rubber band and I got the um, receiving blankets. Receiving blanket. I think that's a four pack, right? Mm -hmm. Four packs. And we also got um, a big paper towel, paper towel roll, roll with actually with the paper towel still on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what else you got back there next to you? I got the, some the. Um, Foam board, foam okay, board. yeah, and the foam board, you can usually find this at the Dollar Tree store. Mm -hmm. It's only a dollar a sheet. Um, I usually use that to make a lot of <laughs> RC models, but I, yeah, I thought I was talking about it and I was telling her I'd help her out make a carousel diaper cake mm -hmm. with it. So we're gonna show you how to cut out the top piece out of the foam board and uh, use it to construct a carousel. So let's get started. All right, everyone, we're getting ready to get started. It looks like Tom's got some tools here. She's ready for an operation or something, right, Tom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, actually, um, basically, these are the basic tools that you'll be needing to cut the foam board there um, to make the top of the carousel. Um, basically, you'll need some sort of cutting mat or something to protect whatever you're cutting on. Um, you can use these uh, fabric cutter mats or um, a spare piece of cardboard or whatever you have just to protect what you're uh, working on. Mm -hmm. um, you need some sort of nice straight edge because we're going to be cutting with a uh, knife. Um, you can use any sort of um, kind of a hobby knife or this is like, um, I don't know, like a construction worker would have a cutting knife. Um, you can use a cardboard cutter or something, anything that'll cut the foam board. Um, we'll be using an X-Acto knife to cut holes in the foam board. Um, basically the holes are gonna be where ribbon and stuff runs through. And last, you'll need a hot glue gun to uh, glue the top piece together. All right, everyone, we're gonna get ready to start cutting the uh, top piece out of the foam board. And I made some patterns for Thom. Um, basically, she's gonna show you how to do this. Uh, but real quick, this is kind of the shape of the parts we're going to be cutting out of the foam board, what it's going to look like. Uh, basically, this big rectangle represents the size of the foam board, and these are going to be the two top pieces that are going to be cut out of that foam board. Um, I made two templates um, that can be printed from any printer, and we'll show you how to use those in a second. Um, but basically, these uh, templates, I'll put a link in the video notes where you can download them for free. So let's get started cutting out the top piece. Okay, everyone, um, the first part is you'll take basically this uh, template here. This is part of the uh, base piece for the top. And basically, um, we just put it on some uh, cardstock so it's nice and stiff. And you just trace around it, right, Thom? Yeah, just draw it around. Okay, so we're going to trace around it mm -hmm. once. Okay, once you get it traced around, you want to move it, Thom, to show them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you got one. And now take that template. Yeah. And then you're just going to line it up like that. And draw around it again keep and basically you keep doing that until you get all the way around <laughs> it'll basically make kind of like an octagon okay i finished the drawing and i ready to cut it out okay everyone um Dom is starting to cut the template out um, basically all you want to do is cut around the outer edge right, the follow edge. the outer perimeter mm -hmm. and also you're going to want to cut out the center octagon here what do you got there, Tom? I got some flowers. <laughs> Looks like a big flower. <laughs> okay, Tom's got the uh, base part cut out now. Um, as you can see, the octagon's cut out in the middle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you cut that as accurate as you can, that and the outer edges, because when we start folding it and uh, putting the other piece in, it won't fit nicely if you don't cut um, as accurate as you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's one more step to this piece. Um, let's uh, continue and show you what to do. Okay, everyone, the last step you need to do to this part is go around the edges and you're going to yeah. cut from where these two uh, points come from mm -hmm. there to the other point. The point. And you're going to cut only through one side of the foam board. Yeah. Okay, so she's going to cut down and you're going to do this all the way around. Um, basically, this is so you can fold this piece up right. and we're going to fold them all up and hot glue them together mm -hmm. and it'll make a nice top piece. 
Okay, everyone, Thom finished cutting one side of the foam board all the way around. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, you're gonna take these edges and fold right. them up until mm -hmm. they meet like that. And basically, we're gonna take the hot glue gun and glue them together at each of the seams. Right. And then it'll all, all be held around. together, and that'll make a nice top piece mm -hmm. for the carousel. Okay, my top piece is done. So we all glue together. Okay, yeah, as you can see, she flipped up all the sides and they're all glued. Mm -hmm. Basically, just glue along the seams here all the way around. And basically this edge here is an inch and a half. So we're gonna be using um, inch and a half thick ribbon to go all the way around it. So don't worry too much if you can see the hot glue. Right. Um, but basically that part's done for now. And we're gonna be moving on to the next piece, right Thom? Yeah, right, this one. Okay, this is gonna be the center piece. Uh -huh. Basically the outer edges of the rectangle, you're gonna cut all the way through the foam board. Uh -huh. And see the dash lines? Those lines you only wanna cut one side of the foam board. because yeah. they're gonna be your fold lines to make the center octagon piece. Uh -huh. Okay, everyone, see Thom's got the piece now. Mm -hmm. We got it all cut out. Right. Um, as you can see, I only cut one side of the foam board, so it makes uh -huh. a nice folding hinge. Mm -hmm. And basically, you just kind of fold it all around so right. it makes an octagon. Yeah. And that's going to fit into the base here like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to get it in there. And glue it. And we're going to hot glue it into okay. the base. And basically, down the one seam where the two sides meet, we'll run a bead of hot glue all the way down that, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, we got the base now hot glued in to the uh, top piece here. Mm -hmm. And now Thom's going around all eight sides, and we're going to cut a hole on the top part. Yeah. And That's also on square. the bottom, right, Thom? Yeah, on the bottom okay. here. So basically, you want to go on all eight of the sides all the way around. Right. Um, you're going to cut these holes. That's going to be where you're gonna, we're going to run some uh, ribbon through later to make it look nice. Okay, Thom, you got it all finished? Mm-hmm. Okay, looks like she got all the holes cut. Okay, so what's the next step we're going to be working on? We're going to um, make the diaper cake, make a round the wheel. Okay, we're going to make the big round diaper cake base. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll put this to the side and we'll come back to it in a little bit. All right, everyone, Thom's starting on the base. Um, basically, she's taking the paper towel roll, as you can uh -huh. see, for the centerpiece. Yeah. It's a nice, big, fat, mm -hmm. round thing. <laughs> this is going to be used to hold the top piece up high. Right. Um, we're going to later wrap that with some decorations. Um, as you can see, she just took a rubber band. Mm -hmm. And we're starting to insert all the rolled diapers all the way around, right, Thom? Right. And we need to use the um, thick rubber Thick, band. big one, yeah. You yeah. want something that's going <laughs> to snap in your face yeah. when you get too thick. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to go, what, three layers thick, you said, Thom? Yeah. Three diapers, about, about three diapers it. thick all the way around. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue on that, and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, everyone, Thom's got the base all made. Uh, it's about three layers deep, and as you can uh -huh. see, she's taking one of the receiving blankets mm -hmm. and is uh, wrapping Wrap it around, around the paper towel. Okay, just so he's gonna wrap it around. Um, it was folded so it's roughly about the same width as what's sticking out of the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're just gonna tape it on, Thom, or yeah, how are you gonna put I'll it? Tape it on. Okay, tape she's gonna on. tape it initially just to hold it. Then she'll probably right. put what ribbon around it too. Yeah, we're gonna put the ribbon and bow them and like make that, it look prettier. So. Okay, so she'll continue with that. And also, we're gonna be wrapping a blanket Wrap. around the base, mm -hmm. right? Or probably yeah. a couple blankets since yeah, it's couple. so big and wide. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, everyone, looks like Thom's got the blankets wrapped around the top uh -huh. portion and around the diaper cake base. And what do you got there now, Thom? I got the ribbon around it and I'm going to tie some bow. Okay, she's got and some nice ribbon. She's going to wrap around it and she's going to tie like a big bow on the front. Uh -huh. Okay, everyone, I'm done with the uh, ribbon and I put the uh, underneath and then on the top. And now we're going to put the, the on top, top piece. Okay. Top piece. So Thom's yeah. going to pin the top piece mm -hmm. right through the foam board into the paper towel roll to help hold it on, right Thom? Right. So we'll just use a bunch of the pins that she has down there. Yeah. We'll grab yeah. some of those and we're just going to pin this top piece onto the top of the paper towel roll in the middle. Mm -hmm. Alright everyone, the top piece is securely pinned to the paper towel roll. And now she's using a ribbon with animals on it to go all the way around the <laughs> yeah. top piece. Mm -hmm. So top we'll get piece. that all situated and uh, taped on there. And we'll continue on after that. Okay, everyone, Thom now has the ribbon around the top, mm -hmm. and she's also got um, some different color strands of ribbon. Basically, she's doubling them up um, in pairs, mm -hmm. and we're running it through the top Double. side, yeah, and through the that. side, through the top, straight mm -hmm. across, and, this. and then back down, back down to here. To the other side. And basically, yeah. it's just going to hang down um, yeah. kind of about the same length as the whole carousel. So basically, you, you're going to be doing this, what, four times, I four guess? Four times, yeah. yeah. So we've got double crisscrosses. Double. So we're going to mix up all the ribbon colors and make it more colorful. Okay, everyone, Thom finished putting the ribbon through all the holes, and now mm -hmm. she's uh, putting 
putting some baby bottles on the top, on the top. portion of the carousel. So if yeah. you had like baby powder or baby oil or anything else, you mm -hmm. can fit all on top. It's just kind of <laughs> like a tray. And right. she's also topping it off with the teething, teething ring. Yeah, teething and, uh, ring. And I guess she's holding it on with some flowers with kind of yeah. twisty ties, right, Thom? Uh, yeah, hell is whole. Okay, so Good. now it's kind of just up to you, whatever uh, decorations you want to keep adding to it. Um, yeah. After we get the top done, then we'll come down and with the assortment of stuffed animals we have, we'll start adding some stuffed animals around the bottom of the carousel and uh, make it nice and pretty. Okay, everyone, Thom's starting to put all the animals around the carousel. And uh, what do you have there? It looks like wood stock um, yeah. with the lollipop stick. Um, uh -huh. You can tie a ribbon around them bowl. and put the lollipop stick on the back. Mm -hmm. And that helps the ones that won't, you know, kind of stand up on their own. Right. Then just, just find some place to squeeze that in. Mm -hmm. Just the diapers and it'll help hold them in place. Yeah. Yeah, like this. Okay, it's coming along good, Tom. Yeah, thanks. So we're going to be adding a few more animals and uh, finishing it up. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone, it looks like Tom's got her uh, carousel diaper <laughs> cake all finished. Yeah. So, what'd you add for the finishing touches, Tom? I'll add some um, flower. Okay, you got little on. flowers there. Yeah. And I got some sock around. Baby sock flowers she mm -hmm. made. Okay, so. and it looks like we've got a bunch of animals, animals. on the bottom now. Uh huh. So. Snoopy, a couple on top, even. Yeah. The baby bottles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks and really neat. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching me and I see you next time. Okay, yeah. Thank you, everyone. And again, please check the video notes. I'll put a link for the templates to make the top piece if you'd like. And it's, it'll be a PDF download for you for free.